long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Hello and welcome again to Proverbial Wisdom. I'm Scott McCown, and I'm a minister at the Central Church of Christ. If this is the first time you have watched this, or if you've been wondering who is this fellow, I'm uh, so glad that you are here, so glad that you are joining us this morning or this afternoon, whenever you're watching this. As we spend time in the book of Proverbs, we're calling this series Proverbial Wisdom because we're looking at what Solomon shares as guide to our life, as guide to, to being more of God's person, more like God would want us to be. We come now to Proverbs chapter 8, Proverbs chapter 8, we're going to pick up with verse 12 and go through the rest of the chapter, Proverbs 8 and verse 12. In this text, wisdom is speaking. Solomon is writing and he's personified wisdom as a woman crying out in the street, trying to tell people how important what she has to say and what she is and how important she is. So this woman, wisdom is crying out in the street, and here is what she speaks. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. I have counsel and sound wisdom. I have insight. I have strength. By me, kings reign, and rulers decree what is just. By me, princes rule, and nobles, all who govern justly. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even fine gold, and my yield than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness in the paths of justice, granting an inheritance to, the, to those who love me and filling their treasures. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his work, at the first of his acts of old. Ages ago, I was set up at the first, before the beginning of the earth, when there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth, before he had made the earth with its fields, or the first of the dust of the world, when he established the heavens, I was there, when he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep. When he assigned to the sea its limits so that the waters might not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master workman. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the children of men. Oh, now, O oh sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. And do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting beside my doors. Forever finds me, finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. I know that's a relatively long reading, and there is so much in there. But as I think about some of the things that that wisdom is saying, what Solomon has wisdom say, is that whole idea of, of wisdom and prudence. And we talked about prudence a, a time or two ago. The word prudence is a good word. It's related to the word wisdom. And the fact, someone who is uses prudence, uses discretion and, and wisdom to make decisions. So when someone calls me prudish, I take that as a compliment. It means that, that, that I am using wisdom, whether they mean it that way or not. He talk, she talks about knowledge and discretion, hating of evil, hating pride and arrogance. Those things that say, look how good I am, are opposed to true wisdom. Because wisdom is humble. Wisdom knows where it comes from. Wisdom stops and thinks. Such wisdom gives good counsel. It gives good insight. And government officials would do well to use wisdom, insight, prudence, and discretion. She says, those who, who use me rule justly and righteously and well. If I had a chance to speak to 
leaders today from any of our political parties, I would remind them, use wisdom, discretion, insight, and prudence. Guard your heart, guard your lips. That's what wisdom is saying to do. And the riches and the honor that wisdom gives is better than gold or silver. It's more important. It's what will support you throughout your life when all those other things might be gone. Because in wisdom is justice and righteousness. And then wisdom talks about her origin and that her origin is from God. Solomon is not talking about the wisdom that comes from man, what man thinks. Solomon is talking about the wisdom that comes from God to stop and think, what is it that God would do? What is it that God would have me do? What is it that is the right thing to do in God's eyes? Not what does man think, not how will this make me rich, how will this make me successful, but how will this make me better in God's eyes? How will this make God be reflected or help God be reflected through my life? This is the wisdom that was from the beginning. So she says, listen. Listen carefully and follow the wisdom that is from God. Blessed is the one who listens to me. Whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Look for godly wisdom. You may be asking, where do I find godly wisdom? Well, the answer is really simple. It's right here. It's right here in learning more and more about God and what he would have us do and how he would have us live and who he would have us be in Christ. And when we do that, we stop and we think and we reflect. And we use the discretion and the wisdom that is from above, that's from God. Then we can be God's person. We can become more and more, not only pleasing to him, but beneficial in his kingdom. Let's close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom, for your instruction, for the knowledge that you give us through your word. Father, help us to pay attention, help us to listen, and help us to apply that wisdom, that insight that we gain to use discretion, and to be, to use prudence as we approach life. Help us to stop and think before we say and before we do. Father, forgive us when we fall short, and thank you for that forgiveness that's in Christ. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again, and as always, for joining us as we're looking at these wise sayings from, from Solomon, these, this proverbial wisdom. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to these. I hope you are as well. I look forward to the next time we're together. And until then, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the